Today we're going to talk about using the filter function to filter based on a wildcard match or a partial match. So in this example here I have a list of inventory items for a clothing store and you can see this column we have inventory descriptions and what we'd like to do is perform a filter function based on this search value here which is shirt and you can see there are several items that have the word shirt within them all the shirts are plural so we need to perform a wildcard match for anything that just contains the word shirt so we'll begin with the filter function and we're going to insert a couple of other functions within the filter function and I'll explain how it works once we've input our formula so just bear with me so we're going to begin with the filter function our array is going to be our entire set of data here this next argument the include is where we're going to insert some other functions we're going to begin with the is number followed by the search function so this is where we're going to input our search value we want to search a on anything that contains the word shirt so we need to enclose that in asterisks so I'm going to enclose an asterisk in double quotes and concatenate it to our search value here with the AND symbol. And the same thing on the end. So now this next argument within text is where we're going to enter our search column. We want to search on the inventory item description. So you can see this pulls back anything in our inventory list that contains the word shirt. So how this function works is if we take a look at just the search argument right now and hit F9, you can see what the search value does is it searches based on our lookup value anything that contains the word shirt and produces a value of 1 anytime there's a match. If there's not a match, it produces an error message. So you can see the third item in our array produces a true value of 1, which the third item in our lookup array is t-shirts. So if I escape out of that, go back into our formula again, this time we want to highlight everything that includes the is number function and hit F9. You can see it changes to falses and trues. And that's what the if is number function does. It looks at whether a value is either a number or not, produces a true if it's a number. If it's not a number, it produces a false. So as you remember, when we first looked at just the search, we had a value of 1 in the third spot, which is t-shirts. So it produces a true because there was a 1 there. And then what the filter function does is it looks for all the true values in our array and filters on just those true values. So that is how that works all together.